Hello, welcome back. Uh, nobody attacked my throne this turn, somehow. So there's that. Um, other than that, we cast lots of spells. And um, we also searched for sites on my um, Pale Riders factory. Where's that? Uh, Idrif find a maze. That's two pearls per turn, which is quite nice. Um, we also had a magic nightmare project projected at us on our throne. Um, I don't think this bothers us too much, though. This is Vengeance of the Dead, right? The commanders that I have on Florian either don't have any kills, or if they do have kills, it's because they can take a hit, so... I don't think that's too much of a problem yet. I mean, resisted it anyway this time. I can get domes up there eventually, but not just yet. Uh, we tried to assassinate a Selenian commander. Unfortunately, the guy we hit was the guy I didn't want to hit, which is a mounted guy with D2 and gems. Um, but we do have a bunch of items on this guy, and some gems as well. Who do you think wins this, right? Place your bets now. Scythe, doing Horde of Skeletons, or Mounted Guy, who also does Horde of Skeletons, I believe. Yes, right? And uh, we managed to kill it. That's quite good. Um, it, it left behind about 30 units in that province this turn. Uh, that's really good to know because that's the commander I was most worried about. So if we can take those out, that's pretty nice. Um, can't always do Horde of Skeletons though. Next battle in Lemnos. I think there's too much here to see there. I'm not even sure if Lemnos is still taking turns to be honest. But we just hit some cat PD. Is about how you'd expect. And that's that. So Lemnos is under siege now. Uh, also saw a battle in Man. So this is Selenia's army that, instead of attacking the throne, just attacked Man's cap. Uh, not a good fight. It is in the cave. Which means all of my province defense has no vision. But his uni units do have vision. Even so, I, I would hope that I could kill at least, like, one unit, but nope. Nothing. That's a bit worrying. Double quiche next. This is Nazca's little army marching at us still. We don't really slow this down at all this time. Um, same army, didn't kill anything this time. And then we also attacked into Rock Marsh. A few bits and pieces. Uh, nothing here though. That's also fine. Events, Old Forest, um, Druid of the Untamed Maker. With a large group, so this is a really nice one, actually. Just show him off. This is a N4 guy. About as lucky as you get with these guys. They can't get any higher than that. Uh, and he came with 39 <laughs> troops, so a really good event. Um, in the day there we got another Dancer. Uh, in Halema we got a Spirit of Points. This is the last ally that we haven't seen yet. It's the most rare. It even came with units, which is very rare. Um, Spirit of Points are... E easily the best ally we can get, I think. Um, they're Ethereal Teleporters. Some Astral Magic and stuff. They get a bunch of very strange attacks. Uh, and a lot of hit points. They don't really have any um, powers the way that the other allies do. They're just very kind of rare and very spooky. Um, so I'm happy I got some of those. They'll help out. Chibia, we got another Druid. No allies. Uh, no units. Bad Harvest in Vilia. Income minus 10 in Ivermark. Misfortune plus 3 in Lemnos. And lost some people in Halbathria. I think that's everything. Evocations are still cheaper. 
Um, we're under siege in man, of course. Walls are damaged. It's not quite halfway. And that's it. We have a Palisades up in Florian now for all the good that's going to do us. Um, so I expected to get attacked in Florian. I was not. We assassinated the commander here. There is the, These are the units that I think were up here last turn. So they've moved here. So I assume they're going to join this army. They had to path around this little mountain. So maybe in two turns he attacks into us? I'm not sure. Um, it's awkward because I'd like to just sit here and defend now. Uh, just sit here and research now. Um, but I put 50 points <laughs> of province defense into the province and it, it seems like a waste to just not defend with the province events. So I've got everyone patrolling. I do not want to have to do this for too long. Um, I'll do it for like two turns, because I think that's when he'll attack me. And if he doesn't attack me, maybe I should just attack him instead. Because um, I am building up troops here now. We just got another 40 trees, which are going to help out a lot. The army still looks like this. Um, but I am just going to patrol for one or two turns. My research is trash now. But it's a bit awkward because I'm just kind of stuck here because I'm stuck between two big armies and if I lunge one way then I'm weak in the other way. Um, and my units aren't very good at fighting Selenia yet either. I need more units like the trees. So that's all that's happening up here, unfortunately. Patrolling, a bit boring. Um, down here, this army can't really fight into Selenia because of the Bless. It's mostly worms. The only sort of good troops here that aren't worms is the what is this? Thirty-two trees. Uh, I'm just going to attack into Nazca's fort. Fuck it. Let's see how that works out. If, if we manage to take Lemnos's territory, we can walk, walk straight into Nazca from behind. So we might as well start attacking him from two directions. Um. And once this fight concludes, we can use the troops here to fight Selenia. And in the meantime, I need to move more troops down here to fight Selenia. Um, but first things first, the first army I need to stop is this Nazcan army. It's going to take the throne next turn, probably. It would be unexpected for him to not attack the throne, which is a reason not to do it, I suppose. Um, but, but, but from his perspective, this throne must surely look completely undefended. So I've got to assume it's tempting. Um, so I'm going to try and defend it this turn. We did just get a bunch of long dead in second forest. We got 42 of them, I think. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to use those to help siege Lemnos, but let's take a turn to just defend Norfangs first. So there's some stuff in Chibia that's teleporting in, and everything else is just moving in. Um, as usual, I've got a little block of like good units down in the bottom left who just buff up for a while. Um, that's a dancer and the spirit of points. Other than that, it's blocks of undead. Two big trees, worms in the back, spellcasters just in front of them. Uh, pretty standard stuff. And one guys do vine arrows and tangles. Um, Idrif's going to do haste and regen. Dancer in the grass is going to buff up for three turns and attack rear. Spirit is going to buff up for three turns and attack rear. Or fire. Uh, and hopefully that's enough. There's a few worms in here. The worms should be quite good against Nazgur, I think. And there is 25 province defense here already. It's just what it was on. I can't remember when I put that in, but <laughs> it's fine. So hopefully we defend Norfangs. And hopefully um, Dracut just attacks us next turn and we win. That would be nice. That would be the ideal if both of these armies are smashed next turn so that I can concentrate on Selenia. Uh, other than that, up here, I'm still just sieging Lemnos. We've got 178 siege strength here. I'm moving another, not quite 40, because the teeth in the hills are going to take this forest. But maybe in like two turns, we'll have Lemnos open. Um, laser beam guy with some worms is going to help siege great mountains. Uh, yeah, hopefully this territory is all just locked down in like two or three turns, and then we can just start taking some of Nazca's stuff from the back. Um, I spoke to M.A. Kazia, no, L.A. Kazia, I spoke to L.A. Kazia um, about him taking some of Linnos' stuff as well, and I sent him a message asking him, like, how much he wants and stuff. Because basically I want to keep this forest, because I like forests. 
But I've pretty much given him everything else that's in this area. Um, up to this throne. I don't know who owns this throne, but I've said that's his as well if he takes all this territory. Um, so I'm going to try and stay on Kazia's good side. And if he takes all this, it, it's like a, it like blocks this whole section for me behind him, which is good. So I'll put a screenshot bubble on the screen of what borders I suggested. But right now the only territory we need to take off Lemnos is this stuff. And then once it's done I roll that stuff up. And then every other unit from now on is going to start trying to take territory back from Selenia. Um, while we wait and see what happens over here. Kazia also asked for Urgems, so I sent him the 14 Urgems that I had. And I said, I'll, when I figure out what gems I need, I'll ask for 14 of those in return. And he said, okay. So I'm actually doing diplomacy for once, <laughs> instead of just complaining. Uh, I think that's it for this turn. Not much else to say. Research is trash, like I mentioned. Got another assassin moving down. Um, I'm assassinating in Gold Mountains again this turn, just in case Selenium moves another commander in this province to pick up these units. Or an assassin of that one as well. See how it goes. At the moment I'm recruiting an assassin every turn, and then I'm forging gold talisman and acorns every turn. So let's just start bringing some assassins down here, because they seem quite effective. The one time that <laughs> we've used them successfully. Um, Alright, ending turn. So that was turn 33. Thanks for watching. A bit of an awkward position to be in, but hopefully I'm doing okay. And I'll see you on turn 34. Hello, welcome back. Uh, another long turn. Uh, I asked Cassia for nature gems. I thought since we're not teleporting large numbers of people around now, maybe we can cast Ecomorphosis finally. So, try and do that soon. Uh, cast some Pale Riders, did some Arcane Probing. I'm going to do that every turn. Didn't find anything though. I cast it at the throne and got nothing, which is a shame. Um, we did get Vengeance of the Dead. This is the army that I had sieging Nazca's for. It attacked this guy. Uh, which is interesting. So just in case you've never seen Vengeance of the Dead, you get attacked by one spirit for every kill you've got. Um, this is not very interesting, but he kills them all. Um, I was sure this was changed so that the spirits themselves didn't count as kills. But I guess that's not true because his kills went up to 17. I'm not sure. I, th I thought that was changed so that he couldn't just keep stacking more and more spirits per cast, but I guess not. Um, did a few teleports, cast Pearl Riders, uh, tried to do an assassination. This one's pretty funny, so I'll just watch this. Went against one of these little dudes that I thought would be easy. Um, they cast a skeleton that goes around all of my stuff and then one-shots me, <laughs> which is pretty good. Um, that was, I, I enjoyed that. So lesson learned is, um, I guess you use turn one to cast invulnerability? Is that a d1? I don't know. Maybe there's, there's probably something we can cast. Maybe Skeletal Body would have helped because he had a spear. That's pretty funny anyway. Uh, battles. We attacked Nazca's fort in Deep Forest. There's actually quite a lot of stuff here. He had quite a lot of PD and then quite a lot of things patrolling. These are all sacred units. I think they all get buffed. Maybe not. We have a lot of quite developed worm colonies in this army. So it's quite a hefty front line over here. Backed up mostly by militia and horrified peasants, but even so. I might need to have to reposition the tree guys a bit. Because the, the tree people are quite slow, if I remember rightly. Yeah, combat speed 9. They just kind of get stuck behind the worms. That's Nazca's fort that's southeast of our man territory. Um, 
Lost a couple of things, but nothing too expensive. Um, and there's all the stuff you had patrolling. 120 patrolling units. Uh, no mages though. Battle in Norfang's next. This was my throne that Nazca was attacking into. This is this army. This actually does have spellcasters, but not very many. So our long dead do really well and just rush the back lines. Um, our worms do get cooked a bit, unfortunately. Dancer jumps in as well. That all goes quite well. See the spirits of points. Do it black. I love that spell effect that I gave. And um, that's so that giant black cone. I think is this one. Yeah. Um, it's just a slow. It looks impressive, but but then again, I've, we've kind of I've kind of learned that slows are actually really powerful. So I don't know. Um, the purple thing that they shoot is um, just an AoE 1 damage spell, and then their main, this is a melee attack that just does instant death, but it's magic resist negates. Um, so they're very powerful. But yeah, I haven't had many of them yet. Um, so that was Norfang's, we kill this army. Uh, lost quite a few worms, and horses. Um, as soon as we hit anyone who has like a fire magic spell, the worms just kind of vanish, but not too bad. Uh, we defended our throne anyway. Also took Glistening G Forest off Lemnos, so there was nothing here, it's just hitting it with the teeth. Uh, let's prevent, so there's nothing too interesting. We got a Glassbreaker, uh, lost some income. We got a Hemi Deordinate Subsument. This is the spellcasting version of these guys. Uh, they also come with a drone, they're a different color. I don't know if I mentioned it, but these guys also never heal. Um, you have to put them in a lab to heal, because they're robots they need to repair. Um, Loma, we've got a Dancer, we've got a Knight Amaranth, we got uh, Mire and Niffle, which is good. Redweed and Ivermark, Norfangs, that's the man's territory. Uh, got another free and 20 arm. Uh, we got, this is quite interesting, this is the event that enemies get when Redweed spreads their province. And so because oh, this, because the, the fort in mine is under siege, we see the enemy version of the event. Um, I can't think of any way to fix that. It's just kind of amusing. Uh, lost some province events in Halbathria, and then a really nice one in Glistening Dew, we found a pirate ship and 798 gold. Uh, everything else is just fort messages and finding scouts, uh, and man has been permanently vanquished. And a lot of scouts on Lorien because we're patrolling with about a billion things, including a DM Dracket scout, so he now knows exactly what's in Florian. Uh, so that's it for messages. Um, every turn is always a nightmare of arrows. Grey arrows, as usual, is just picking up worms and moving them around. Uh, I'm moving a spellcaster to keep us to build a lab here so that we can do strange bedfellows. I'm a bit worried of getting attacked from this side by Selenia once this fort falls, because there is a route through here. So I should probably try defending Robber Home at some point. At least put something in this fort. Um, down here, still just stacking up things in Florian. Um, Nasturus, who I should probably rename at some point. This is the guy I empowered in Blood. He's going to get empowered up to Blood 2 next. I think Bloodstones and Armors of Twisting Thorns both need Blood 2, maybe even Blood 3. But we can forge a blood booster at some point, I think that's quite easy. So we'll just keep doing that. Uh, everything else is still patrolling, or picking up worms. Um, got another assassin moving out. I'm, I'm probably done with assassins at this point. I'd like to get a few more adepts out in my cap. Um, but I'm going to move one more assassin down, he'll try and kill off some more Selenian commanders if he can. Still ignoring man. Still can't really fight that yet because of all my army being tied up elsewhere. Uh, I think it's fine though, as long as we take Lemnos' territory faster than we're losing Man's territory, and then start taking Nazca's territory faster, then I don't think it matters too much, because we didn't really have much site development down here anyway. We don't really care that much about the gold. We've killed most of the population at this point. Well, maybe not, some of them are still quite high. 
It's just a shame to lose the gems. But we have got Mother Oak up now, so... What gems do we get from Lemnos? Oh, well, there we go. I'm gonna replace some of the nature gems anyway. Assuming that goes well. I'm not, I'm not too bad, I'm not too sad about losing all of this territory at some point. Um, I think the priority will be defending these three points. So the two thrones and then this choke. That would be the line I want to try and hold against Selenia. Um, and then as soon as we build up more units that aren't worms, or, you know, if, <laughs> depending on how this battle goes, hopefully if this winds up we can use some of these troops. But as soon as that happens we'll, we'll try and fight back some of Selenia's stuff. Um, but for now, just still sieging this fort of Nazca's. We're going to be attacking Nazca from two sides. Hopefully we, we just swallow him up really quickly. That would be quite nice. And nothing else too interesting is happening. I'm taking these two provinces back off Nazca now. I'm just using some forts, to, some worms to attack pack hordes. Um, the stuff that just took Norfang is just going to roll up on Javel Kish next. Um, I've got 40 long dead waiting in second forest. I'm summoning a commander this turn to lead them, so there'll be 88 next turn. Um, that'll be an additional 100 siege strength. So 100 skeletons will just join up with this army. And then the rest of the skeletons, I think, we're just going to start moving down to help fight Selenia. Uh, and other than that, Lemnos is being sieged. I think it should get cracked open next turn, maybe? Great Mountains is under siege. There's like no siege strength here, so we're just sitting on it to make sure it can't do anything. And that's it. I'm going to move the new sub we got up here. I want to keep all the sub together since they all are a communion. Seems to make sense. Uh, any other things of note? I'm building a temple now in Glistening Dew. Am I doing anything else? Build temple. I think I'm putting a fort up on that throne that doesn't have a fort. Doing arcane probing still. Empowering. Yeah, I'm building a palisades on that throne. Uh, and that's it for this turn. So we're up to 41 nature gems. I think we we do cast Ecomorphosis next turn and see how that goes. And other than that, I'm still just waiting to see what happens here. This might be us if it smashes into us. But I've, I'm defending flooring with everything I can. So fingers crossed it goes okay. I guess, could I fly one more dancer over here? Could. We just got this dancer this turn. It's quite a good one as well. A2, S2. Um, why not? Let's script that. It'll be at the bottom, won't it? Well, I'll, I'll assume that I'm going to script that new dancer. Um, and that's it for this turn. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on turn 35.